Welcome. In this video, we will demonstrate craniums and synapses' capabilities to estimate the physical properties of pure chemicals. For this demonstration, we are using synapse. The identical capabilities are also available in cranium. Please see our videos on downloading and installing Cranium Reader or Synapse Reader if you need a working version of the software to follow this demonstration. First, open the MKS Sample Knowledge Base. This knowledge base is included with all of our software products. Each of Synapse's documents is set up as an electronic reference book. In the MKS Sample Knowledge Base, information on chemicals, mixtures, estimation techniques, structural groups, elements, and references are all collected into different chapters. These chapters are accessed by clicking on the tabs at the top of the documents window. Navigate to the chemicals chapter. Each page of the chemicals chapter displays information on a different chemical. There are data on descriptive properties, structural properties, constant properties, critical properties, temperature dependent properties, temperature and pressure dependent properties, environmental properties, and many more. Data are often shown in both tabular and graphical forms. Navigate to one propanol. This can be done by clicking on the navigation menu and selecting the Go To command. Synapse will display the Go To chemical dialog. Type propanol in the match substring edit box. Synapse will list all the chemicals that have propanol in their name. Select one propanol and press the OK button. Synapse changes to the page showing all of one propanol's data. To generate physical property estimates, we simply click on the Commands menu and select the Compute Estimates command. Synapse displays the Property Estimation dialog. Press the Estimate button, and Synapse will estimate values for more than 30 different physical properties. Finally, press the Save button, and Synapse will store these estimates into the current knowledge base. To estimate temperature-dependent properties, we must first enter one or more temperatures. Scroll to the temperature-dependent section and click on the property control to change the property to liquid vapor pressure and the values type to estimates. Press OK. Click on the fields table. Synapse activates the values entry dialog. Double-click the left mouse button on the first row. Synapse will activate the data entry dialog. Enter a value of 0 degrees C and press the OK button. We can also enter a series of temperatures. Click and hold the left mouse button on the second row and drag the mouse lower so as to select several rows. Next, press the Series button and enter a temperature series. Enter a starting temperature of 10 degrees C and an ending temperature of 120 degrees C. Then press the OK button. Synapse will generate a series of temperatures between these limits. These are the temperatures at which we are asking Synapse to generate estimates. Click the right mouse button on the fields table and select the Compute Estimates command. Again, Synapse displays the Property Estimation dialog. Press the Estimate button. Synapse calculates an estimate for each of the entered temperatures. Finally, press the Save button. And Synapse stores these estimated values into the current knowledge base. The fields graph compares our estimated values, denoted by diamonds, with available data values denoted by squares. The estimates are in very good agreement with the data values. The different color shapes indicate that their associated values came from different references. Click the left mouse button on the graph and Synapse displays the Values Details dialog. 
the dialog shows that there are three different color squares indicating three different data references. We also see there are two different color diamonds indicating two different estimation techniques. Synapse decided to use the Dipper equation for certain temperatures and Antoine's equation for other temperatures. To override Synapse's choice of estimation techniques, click the right mouse button on the fields table and choose the Select Estimation Technique command. Change the automatic mode to manual mode and manually select a different estimation technique. We will select the gomez nito Thodos equation. Press OK and now click the right mouse button on the table and choose the Compute Estimates command. Press Estimate and again Synapse will estimate the values at each temperature using our selected estimation technique. Press Save. The graph shows that our selected estimation technique also gives very good estimates. Click the left mouse button on the field's graph and Synapse again displays the value details dialog. The dialog shows that only one technique was used to generate estimates, the technique we manually selected. You can repeat this process quickly and easily to compare the accuracies of different estimation techniques. Click the right mouse button, select estimation technique. This time we'll pick the Ambrose Walton method. Press OK. Again click the right mouse button. Choose the Compute Estimates command. Press Estimate and press Save. Synapse generates new estimates using the selected technique. Interestingly, no estimates were generated for the lower temperature values. If we click the right mouse button and again issue the Compute Estimates command, and this time we will tell Synapse only to try and estimate the values that are missing, those temperatures that don't have any estimates. Press the Estimate, and now we will expand one of the temperature estimates we see that the Ambrose-Walton method failed. If we press the Details button, Synapse activates the Detailed Estimation Results dialog, which states that the estimation technique calculated a vapor pressure that was too low to be considered accurate. Thus, no value was assigned. One of Synapse's and Cranium's key capabilities is to quickly and easily estimate the physical properties of new chemicals, chemicals that are not in any database. For example, we will add a new entry for trans 1 chloro 333 trifluoropropene This chemical is a new liquid blowing agent. We add a new chemical by first pressing the large plus button on the toolbar. Synapse adds a new blank page to the chemicals chapter. Click on the Identifier field at the top of the window. Enter the new chemical's name, trans-1-chloro-3-3-3-trifluoropropene. Add a reference and comments. Finally, press the Save button. Scroll to the Chemical Structure section. Click the left mouse button on the Structure Entry field. Synapse will activate the Structure Editor dialog. Enter the chemical's molecular structure. Three carbons, one chloro, 333-trifluoro, and because there is a double bond, we will add explicit hydrogens. Connect these atoms with bonds. First single bonds. And then a double bond. Finally clean up the structure's appearance
and press the Save button. The name and structure are the only data we have for our new chemical. Click on the Commands menu and select the Compute Estimates command. Press the Estimate button and again Synapse will estimate the values for more than 30 different physical properties. In this case, Synapse estimated these values using only the molecular structure as input information. Press Save. We see that Synapse estimated constant properties, critical properties, thermodynamic properties, and many more properties. This concludes our demonstration of Synapse's capabilities for estimating the properties of pure chemicals. Please visit our website for additional videos and additional information. As always, please contact us if you have any questions about Cranium or Synapse, or any questions about physical properties in general. Thank you.